all of a sudden I see all this commotion. And it was originally in my neighbor's yard and while I was walking her dog. So I got her dog in the house quickly and I came home to get my dogs who were in the backyard. Donna Moody snapped these pictures of the 160 pound black bear as it bounced through backyards. It eventually settled in a tree one house away from Laura Wainert's. Just hanging out in the tree, the bear, not really doing anything. And now they waited for the state, and now the state is here, and they just set up the bear trap. Wainert had to pick her daughter up from a bus down the block while authorities patiently tried to lure the bear into that big green trap. Um, basically, it's like a big uh, tube. Uh, um, and what they do is it has a sliding door and they put some food in the end of it. When the bear goes in to eat, the trap, as soon as it touches it, it's, the trap door falls and the bear is contained in there. Eventually, after a few hours, he came down and we saw the sleepy guy after he was tranquilized, tagged, even tattooed with a number before being sent on his way to a safer part of the state. Well, it's always delicate when you're dealing in the middle of the day, you're dealing with kids in school. We have three schools in town, um, you know, very the neighborhood here with kids in it, mothers and everything like that. So it's a very, you know, difficult situation because you don't want anyone to get hurt. And you also don't want the bear to get hurt, too. And as we give you a live look at the branch that the uh, bear was in for a period of time, you can see it's kind of broken there. We'll tell you there was a uh, soft lockdown at some of the nearby schools just as a little bit of a precaution. Didn't last for too long, especially once they kind of got the bear trapped uh, in one singular tree. I'm Waldwick, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News. All right, Henry, thank you so much. Our bear reporter apparently lately.